एवरीवन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस गर्ल मोनालिसा सो टुडे आई एम डूइंग दिस ब्लॉग आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग ब्रेक सो करेंटली आई एम एक्चुअली आई एम डूइंग दिस ब्लॉग बिकॉज आई जस्ट वांटेड टू शो यू व्हाट बुक एंड बुक आई एम रीडिंग करेंटली सो दिस इज द पावर ऑफ सबकॉन्शियस माइंड so uh, for past couple of days i have noticed that i am lacking in words uh, when it comes to talk in english i don't know why it suddenly happened but uh, i think because uh, i'm in the environment where nobody speaks english even though i speak in english with my colleagues uh, of the like in office when i'm doing my office or during my office time i generally speak in english but still like most of the time i'm staying in home with my mom and my brother and i always speaks english but when i was staying in uh, kochi i used to speak in english most of most of my time because I, there are no bengali people were there there were some but most of most of my friends were from other states so i the mode of communication was basically either english or hindi so i guess at that time i have improved both the languages but currently it's just going down and down because i'm doing work from home first of all and the second thing is that i am communicating with my family most of the time i'm at home and talking to my family in bengali so i think that i'm just lacking the vocabulary again so that's why i decided to you know start reading this book and uh, these days i'm just i'm just saying the words loud as well uh, like reading the book loudly uh, because i feel that if you speak loudly you can understand how do you speak and uh, you can understand the way you pronounce and what are the pronoun- what are the pronunciation mistakes you are doing so these things uh, because of that i started doing uh, th- i started doing this this practice i have started doing the practice yeah i am also working on my hindi because i think i feel that hindi is a very important language for our uh, i mean when it when it comes to staying living in india hindi is a very important uh, language because i mean i think that 80 80 to 90 percent people in india speaks hindi can can understand in that least not speaks but uh, not speak but understand so i feel that in hindi if you know hindi and english you can survive anywhere in india and if you know english you can survive anywhere in 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 the world because it's a globally recognized language and uh, i'm also uh, learning korean these days so i'm watching a lot of korean dramas in korean with english uh, english subtitles and also i have noticed that i am developing the prob this uh, sh sure and sir so problem as well i don't know why suddenly i started developing this problem so i'm working on that as well because i don't want it to affect my communication and uh, yeah later on i'm planning to join a public speaking club as well because it's very necessary to you know uh, do the public speaking to un- i mean and also i wanted to i want to do it in person like not online course or anything i want to do it in person uh, a physical class uh, where i can go and i can speak in front of people that will i think that will boost my confidence as well because i am a very hard working person to be honest with you but sometimes uh, when i feel that uh, all my hard works are not giving me the outcome that i'm expecting i became very demotivated so that's why i am working on that as well and i think after puja puja means durga puja um, i will start join i will i will join the uh, the public speaking session sh- uh, public speaking uh, session as well see you saw that right i have this so uh, sure and so problem again so this thing i need to work on and other than that yeah nothing nothing is that uh, because you know whenever you have this uh, thing like hurdle or this uh, um, you create your own uh, hurdles in your mind this 
blocks blocks you know the, the word i got the right word for this so you have lo a lot of we generally have a lot of mind blocks blocks b l o c k blocks and because of that we sometimes afraid to speak in front of people even no matter which language you are speaking in but if you have this mind blockages you will definitely falter you will definitely uh, you know uh, uh, stammer you will definitely do a lot of things that you don't usually do when you are alone or speaking with your family or your close friends so that's the thing like whenever i speak to my one of my closest friend uh, the other day like day up day before yesterday i was talking to one of my college uh, pg friend uh, shweta she is a tamilian and she, we generally speak like whenever we communicate we communicate in english so whenever i was talk I, whenever i talk to her i never falter or i never stammer or anything because i know she is my friend she won't be judging me but when it comes to other people i feel that i stammer and yeah i have this um this uh, but i can i can tell you that i have this ability to uh, this thing to to imitate people as well like suppose i have a person in front of me who speaks very well who can speak uh, very well in english uh, who is very well versed i will try to imitate it and i will start saying talking like them like the accent the pronunciation will be same like them okay when it comes to talking to a pe person who is very good with english but when it comes to a person who is a uh, very clumsy or who is like very uh, fast speaking person i will start to do that do the same because that's how my subconscious mind works so that's why i'm just reading this thing like how you can control or how you can you know at least manage your subconscious mind uh, so this is the main reason why i am reading this one that's the that's the first uh, that's the first reason and second reason is that uh, i want to remove those mental blockages and i want to see what is my full potential so that's the second reason for reading this book yeah that's all uh, that i know it's a small video but i just want to share these things with you guys the update because it's been so long that i haven't come to the video uh, i haven't you know make in, i haven't made any video um and yeah new vlog will come but i don't know when because i'm kind of busy these days maybe during puja durga puja i will i will make some vlogs 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 uh, and uh, yeah that's all for today i hope you you know you got something from the video you learned something and you will also apply this apply these things in your daily life just try to improve yourself on a daily basis don't depend on people nobody will come to save you nobody nobody will come to um, you know make you the perfect person you have to make yourself not perfect but try to you know try to develop try to be better than what you are today just try to be the better version of yourself that's the only thing and try to always try to learn new things always try to improve yourself that's the only thing that we can do in this lifetime because we are bounded by this physical world and uh, we cannot ex uh, escape it right so whatever we have given whatever god has given us uh just you know be great first be grateful for, for these things and whenever any bad situation comes uh try to see this as a as a um as an exam and if you can survive or if you can uh, pass that exam you will learn something from those exams from those uh, difficult times so that's that's the thing i will definitely suggest you to do and um, yeah try to improve yourself on a daily basis work on yourself and you will reach where you are supposed to where your goals are you will be able to you know get all, uh, achieve all your goals so that's it that's from my end and i hope that you enjoyed the video and i will come back soon with new videos thank you bye bye